I'm Jim Sparks. I'm Indiana's first and so far only geographic information officer. And I am the project manager and point of contact for Indiana statewide imagery project. The Indiana statewide ortho imagery project will be delivering two basic products. One of those is 12 inch resolution ortho photography, and the other one is 1.5 meter post spacing LIDAR. That's for the whole state. Uh, what we're doing though is dividing that into three years. Each year we will acquire a vertical column of the state. So in 2011 it will be the center column, in 2012 the eastern column, and in 2013 the western column. It's important to have a statewide orthophotography project so that the data that comes in is consistent from one end of the state to the other. It's the same data no matter where in the state that we're looking at. Same level of, of accuracy, same level of quality, and everyone can be literally on the same page when we're looking at this data. So that consistency, I think, is, is a, a key part of this program. For this program in Indiana, the counties were able to take advantage of a discount, if you will. We knew that we had a baseline program in place and we had dollars that would pay for that. So the question became, uh, and that baseline was 12 inch ortho photography. A county could take that at no additional cost to the county or they could use the money that we would have spent on the 12 inch ortho photography and put that towards a higher resolution product. So uh, this year, 2011, we had six counties buy up to six inch ortho photography. In Indiana, an average county is just a little over 400 square miles and the cost of a project for a county to buy up to six inch ortho photography under this program uh, was in the neighborhood of uh, forty-eight to fifty thousand dollars, and that's probably about fifty percent of what the market value went uh, would be. So that's a significant savings. A lot of people ask about the return on investment for this kind of of project. We did a, a return on investment analysis about three years ago that looked very much at the 2005 orthophotography project. And what we found, I don't think it's surprising to anyone who works with GIS, but maybe a little surprising to others. It was calculated that the return on investment for that particular data set was about 35 to 1. Another way of looking at that benefit uh, is that that data supported about $1.7 billion worth of projects across the state. And somewhere in the neighborhood of 80% of the people who responded said their project just couldn't happen without the orthophotography. So $1.7 billion is a big number. 80% of that saying that that orthophotography was critical to the success of that project, I think is a very compelling statistic. For this kind of a project to make sense, it really needs to benefit a lot of different people. Uh, for example, we, we've talked some about how it benefits different levels of government. And we understand that one of the things that government is interested in is economic development. And that's an item that I think is also clearly a benefit to everyone who lives in this state. But there are also other specific benefits to businesses that we could talk about too. For example, surveying and engineering firms in particular really, really need good orthophotography and they will also be able to take huge advantage of the, the LIDAR product that we're developing from, the, from this program as well. So that preliminary surveys can be done at the desktop instead of out in the field, for example. But we also know that other companies like lawn care companies are able to measure a piece of property and therefore provide an estimate back to a potential customer very quickly and very accurately without leaving the office. 
That's a great benefit. Same thing for roofing companies. You can measure a roof just as well using high accuracy, high resolution orthophotography as you can from going out to a home and actually doing a physical uh, measurement. Thank you.